Hi, I'm Black Bright and I'm going to talk about whether or not a child who is born in England can be deported. Basically, if uh, in America they have the 14th Amendment and as long as the child is born on American soil and it can be evidence that it was born on American soil, they have something called birthright citizenship. The UK doesn't have that. The UK changed their rules, their immigration rules, um, under the British Nationality Act 1981 and the Immigration Rules 1971. What it meant with the Nation British Nationality Act 1981, which came out in 1983, was that anyone who was born in the UK after 1983 wasn't automatically a citizen. What that meant was if a British father wanted his child to be a British citizen, he would have to marry the foreign national mother. Now, of course, if both parents are born in the UK, it's not a problem. But if one isn't born in the UK, that's when there's a problem. Now, if both parents have settled status, once again, that is almost like the two of them being born in the UK. So provided they have settled status, have legal right to remain indefinitely, then that's fine. Their children born after 1983 <clears throat> can get their citizenship and they're safe from deportation. Now, if you have a child um, that for a British father, I'm, I'm emphasising the father because it's the father who is able to register the child and who's able to pass on his citizenship to the child. So if you have a father who is British born and he has a child for a foreign national, a, 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 somebody who's on indefinite leave or limited leave to remain, in other words, they're not settled in the country, he will then have to register that child as a, at a cost of 1000 zero one two sterling pounds plus a processing fee of a couple of hundred pounds uh the third thing is um what was the third thing i've said the one way he marries the mother because if he marries the mother the child is automatically a citizen so if that british father marries that foreign national mother that child is automatically a citizen from the date of the marriage. So I'm not quite sure if I said that before. Um, the Children's Society in 2016 estimated that we have 144,000 undocumented young people. And what that means is at any time that those children, I mean, if they want to be strict, those young people can are vulnerable to be deported or you know have to be living underground because they they don't have a status and that is a very worrying thing because they won't have they don't have the right to vote they don't have the right to employment they don't have the right to um, rent property they can't have access to social security you know they can't work they can't do anything so imagine those young people growing up in a life like that. That you know they're going to be totally vulnerable. Um, what else is there? Oh yeah, so the fees. So if the undocumented, I mean, some of them can't even, are not even allowed to register. But supposing they are allowed to register. Um, if they're adults now, having been born after 1983, they're probably about 35 or thereabouts. It's going to cost um, £1,033 for limited leave to remain, plus the processing cost of £243. Um, the fees for an indefinite leave to remain is going to cost them £2,389, plus a processing fee of 372 a child under the age of 18 is going to cost them 1,112 plus the processing fee. Um, some people think um, that once the child is an adult, they can actually file for the undocumented parents. That is a whole different ball game. Um, 
but um, what you have to bear in mind that these young people would not have a legitimate right to be in the UK if they're unregularized. So it's really important that they are regularized or at least to draw it to their attention. I mean, we sit back and we take things for granted. Do you know somebody who's had a child born after 1983 whose parents are not born in the country? Or if one parent isn't born in the country and they haven't married, do you know anyone like that? They need to be aware that their children are vulnerable, do have the potential of being illegal immigrants, even though they're born in the country. They're not protected like America. They don't have that birthright citizenship. So it's really, really worrying. Um, yeah i think once they reach a certain age like supposing you know i said that that those children that are 34 they could file for their undocumented parents i don't know if their undocumented parents have to leave the country and then they file for them but that child would have to show that he in sponsoring them you know for both of them he has to be earning in that sufficient funds but that's a different ball game as well what is important that you know whether or not your child born after 1983, is registered. Um, if you've got British passports and the passports say British citizen, then you're absolutely fine. Nothing to worry about. But if you haven't, for some, whatever reason, you haven't had no reason to get a passport for your child, um, because you haven't travelled, you haven't done anything, just bear it in mind. If you're not England, you know, because a lot of people came over um, from the West Indies and they've got together. I mean, yes, yeah, some of them did um, marry British or have kids with British um, citizens. And um, but if the woman is British, I think it's, that's not an automatic thing either. So you need to be investigating whether or not your child will be OK as an adult. And that's all for now. We don't want our children being deported, especially when they're born in this country and this is the only place that they know. That's all for now.